Hello everyone! Today we've got a collection of some really cool and effective life hacks. Remember when I showed to you how to gather the remaining ketchup in a bottle by simply spinning it? Well, when you finish the ketchup, don't throw away the bottle away. Peel off the labels, give it a good wash and then dry it thoroughly. And now the most interesting part. This bottle is perfect for oil. Thanks to this cap, the oil will pour out in portions and, most importantly, you'll forget about oil running down the side of the bottle and oil stains on the table forever. Here's a technique to quickly peel kiwi and get it ready to enjoy, all without needing to cut it. Place a rack over a bowl and the kiwi half on top. Press down lightly and give it a slight twist. Just like that, you get juicy pieces of fruit. They are ideal for adding a fresh twist to desserts or ice cream. Love burgers? Here's a super method to make patties very quickly and easily. You'll need two cans. Cover one can with plastic wrap, place the ground meat on top, cover with another piece of wrap and the can and press down hard. And there you have it, almost perfect patties. Today I'm treating my guests to a unique crepe cake. I start by laying down a crepe, applying cream and stripes. After a moment I cover it with another crepe. Then I gently press down between the cream stripes with my hand to create gaps. These gaps are perfect for the next layer of cream, ensuring an even and aesthetically pleasing distribution throughout the cake. As I continue this process, layer by layer, the cake takes shape with a distinctive, visually appealing pattern when cut into. The contrast of soft crepes with the rich, creamy feeling not only makes for a delicious treat, but also creates a stunning visual effect that's sure to impress any guest. I have this gadget. With its help, my kids love cutting vegetables, like this. It's very convenient. If you don't have one, here's a life hack. Take two forks, stick them into an onion side by side, and you can start cutting. Also, a fork can help you squeeze out the contents of sachet or similar single-use packets. Insert the packet between the fork, twist it slightly and pull. If you don't have a garlic press at hand, a fork can also help. Place cloth on the board and press. In just a few seconds you get minced garlic. And the last use for a fork. If you have a small sieve and a large bowl, the fork can help. Insert it through the handle of the sieve and now it won't fall into the bowl. Love pancakes? Making them for your loved one? Then this hack is for you. With the help of a wooden skewer, while frying, you can give them a new shape. I love making hearts like this.
Here's another way to make wow pancakes. Heat up the oil, take a colander and pour the pancake butter into it. Under one minute of frying, your pancake balls for breakfast are ready. By the way, I drizzled these breakfast balls with melted chocolate. Now I'll show you a life hack to easily melt it directly in the piping bag. Simply place chocolate pieces into a piping bag and immerse it in boiling water. In just a few minutes the chocolate will melt. Then snip off the corner of the bag and you are ready to drizzle and decorate to your heart's content. Ever hesitated to use your blender thinking about the cleanup afterward? I've been there. But there's a neat trick I've discovered. First, slot the blade into the blender. Just pour a bit of dish soap into the bowl, followed by some water. Cover it up and give it a blend for about 15 to 30 seconds. And there you have it. Remarkably tidy. After blending with dish soap, a quick rinse under the top leaves the blade and bowl looking almost new. No more tedious scrubbing, your blender is ready for its next use with minimal fuss. If you love picnics, then you need a cork. Cut it in half. Attach one half to the base of the knife blade and insert the tip of the blade into the other half of the cork. Now wrap the knife in a towel and it's ready to be safely taken on a picnic. Ever slightly burn the toast? No problem, a metal sieve will save you. Just rub the burnt part a bit and the toast will be perfect again. And this very viral life hack I picked up from TikTok. To quickly peel a head of garlic, you'll need a regular rubber balloon. First, cut off the top of the balloon with scissors. Put the garlic in the balloon and rub it on the table like this. I can't say it's the perfect way to peel garlic, but it really works. That's it. No more peels. Ever tried adding a clove of garlic when boiling potatoes? This simple trick transforms your ordinary boiled potatoes into a fragrant, flavorful delight that's bound to impress. But it's not just about taste. Garlic is packed with health benefits, from boosting immunity to reducing blood pressure. So next time you're boiling potatoes, toss in a clove of garlic and elevate your dish with this effortless hack. Looking for the quickest way to get corn kernels off the cob? A pineapple knife is your go-to tool for this job. Got leftover milk? Freeze it in an ice cube tray for a brilliant hack. Drop these frozen milk cubes into your coffee or tea for a delicious twist that keeps your drink cool without watering it down. It's a perfect way to save and savor every last drop. 
Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share it on your social media.